This video highlights the major features of Comprehensive Meta-Analysis, or CMA. Introduction CMA is easy to use. You can run your first analysis within minutes of opening the program. At the same time, it is incredibly powerful with a wide array of advanced features and statistical options. CMA is a visual program. You can understand the process and the results are clear and intuitive. CMA can create a document that reports all relevant statistics. This document can be exported to Word and can serve as the basis for your manuscript. It can also be translated into multiple languages. Let's have a quick look at the program itself. Data Entry. This is the Data Entry screen. It looks like a spreadsheet, so the interface is simple and familiar. You can start the program and be entering data in less than a minute. The Data Entry screen can be customized for almost any kind of data. Suppose I was working with studies that compared the means in two groups. The screen in CMA might look like this. There are columns for the mean, standard deviation, and sample size for the treated group and for the control group. I could enter the data directly or copy it from another program such as Excel. The program automatically computes the standardized difference D as well as hedges G and the raw difference in means. Or, suppose I was working with studies that compared the risk of an event in two groups. The screen in CMA might look like this. Now there are columns for the events and the sample size in the treated group and in the control group. Again, I can enter the data directly or copy it from another program, such as Excel. In this case, the program computes the odds ratio as well as the risk ratio and the risk difference. The program will accept data in more than 100 formats and will allow you to choose from some 20 effect size indices. Analysis. To run the analysis, simply click Run Analysis. This is the main analysis screen. I can select an effect size index. Here, I select the standardized difference in means. Next, I select a statistical model. And I can sort the effects from low to high. The program displays the results. This is the mean effect size and its confidence interval. This is the prediction interval. The confidence interval is an index of precision. It tells me that the true mean probably falls between here and here. By contrast, the prediction interval is an index of dispersion. It tells me that in any single study, the true effect size will usually fall between here and here. I can display the weight assigned to each study. I can sort by any variable, such as weight, and I can run various kinds of sensitivity analyses, including one study removed and cumulative analysis. Reports. The program can generate a report that explains the meaning of all the statistics. In this example, the report reads in part, what is the mean effect size? The mean effect size is 0.506, with a 95% confidence interval of 0.362 to 0.651.
the mean effect size in the universe of comparable studies could fall anywhere in this interval. You can export the report to Word with one click, and the report can serve as a template for preparing a manuscript. Additionally, in Word, you can translate the report into almost any other language. Forest Plots CMA will create high-quality graphics. You can create a plot that looks like this, and send it to PowerPoint with one click. Back in CMA, you can change the colors. and send it to Word. Plotting the distribution of true effects. This is the forest plot we looked at a moment ago. This line reflects the mean effect size and its confidence interval while this line reflects the prediction interval or the dispersion in effects. In any single population, the true effect size could fall anywhere from here to here. CMA will also present the same information in this plot. This line deals with the mean effect size. The mean is estimated to be here, but the true mean could fall anywhere from here to here. This line deals with the dispersion in effects. The mean is here, but in any single population, the effect size could fall some distance from the mean. At one extreme, there are some populations where the effect size will be as low as 0.06. At the other extreme, there are some populations where the effect size will be as high as 0.96. When the effect size varies this widely, it would be helpful to identify factors that are associated with the magnitude of the effect. We can do that using subgroup analysis or meta-regression. Subgroup analyses. The program allows you to compare the effect size in different subgroups of studies. In this analysis, I've computed the mean effect size for this set of studies and the mean effect size for this set of studies. I can then compare the two means using various computational options. Meta-regression. You can use meta-regression to assess the relationship between any variable and effect size. For example, this plot shows the relationship between dose and the magnitude of the effect. As the dose increases from 30 milligrams to 80 milligrams, the predicted effect size increases from 0.28 to 0.75. Publication bias. The program includes an array of analyses to assess the potential impact of publication bias. One of these is the trim and fill procedure, which is shown here. Additionally, CMA will generate a report that explains how to interpret all of these procedures. This report can be exported to Word, where it can be translated into other languages. Video tutorials. CMA includes video tutorials. The videos show how to enter data, how to run the analysis, how to create plots, how to create reports, how to compare subgroups, and so on. You can use the videos to learn about the software. You can also use the videos to learn how to perform and report an analysis from start to finish.
We recently published a text called Common Mistakes in Meta-Analysis and How to Avoid Them. These include serious mistakes in such areas as how to choose a statistical model, how to report heterogeneity, how to understand the tests for publication bias, how to interpret subgroup analyses, among others. From any module in the program, you can access the relevant parts of this text, learn what the mistakes are, and how to avoid them in your analysis. That's it for this overview. I invite you to try CMA. Our website is metaanalysis.com. Learn more about the software, watch videos of case studies, download a free trial of the program, and download a free PDF on heterogeneity. We also offer workshops in meta-analysis. The website for that is metaanalysisworkshops.com. This is our email address. Feel free to contact us with any questions, and thanks for taking the time to watch this video.